The Security Council unanimously adopted a resolution condemning violations and abuses against journalists in armed conflict, calling for protection of media professionals and an end to impunity for perpetrators. Over the past 10 years, more than 700 journalists have been killed in the exercise of their profession, 33 of those deaths in the first five months of 2015. Marianne Pearl, the widow of kidnapped and murdered Wall Street Journal reporter Daniel Pearl, addressed the council members. Journalists everywhere are those single, determined individuals who increasingly are bearing the weight of our democracies on their own. We are the ones who ensure that the public and politicians alike have the information they need to make informed choices. As a result, we have become targets. Accountability for the perpetrators of attacks against media professionals is virtually non-existent. According to the Committee to Protect Journalists, perpetrators have been apprehended and prosecuted in less than 5% of cases. UN Deputy Secretary General Jan Eliasson reminded council members of their moral obligation to protect journalists as civilians. It is our shared responsibility to protect the voices that alert, the voices that warn, and the voices that inform on situations affecting international peace and security. This year, some 1,800 migrants have drowned in the Mediterranean, a 20-fold increase over the same period last year. Addressing the European Parliament in Brussels, Secretary-General Ban Ki-moon called on European nations to do more to help migrants crossing the Mediterranean. Half those crossing the Mediterranean are fleeing war or persecution or human rights abuses. They qualify for international protection as refugees. Europe has an important role to play and the collective responsibility to act. Saving lives uh, should be the top priority. Mr. Ban welcomed a European Commission plan to resettle around 40,000 asylum seekers, and he underlined the importance of improving legal routes to migration, especially as Europe is likely to benefit from a bigger pool of possible workers. Europe is experiencing low population growth and demographic transition to an aging population. The equation is clear to meet its workforce deficit and maintain its economic dynamism, Europe needs migrants. The UN marked the International Day of Peacekeepers, honouring the memories of blue helmets killed in the cause of peace and paying tribute to those currently serving. Today, some 125,000 women and men serve in 16 peacekeeping missions across the globe in some of the most physically, politically and militarily challenging situations. It's about tremendous gratitude to uh, those people, men and women, to the countries who actually contribute them, uh, because without them, you know, the partnership that is peacekeeping simply could not work. Today, UN peacekeeping is adapting to new global realities, as well as trying to respond to increased risks. Given the nature of the challenges that we are facing in the ground, we are experimenting a number of new tools you know, to improve on the safety of our people, but also to enhance uh, the way they can uh, perform their mandate. Over the past 70 years, the UN has established 71 peacekeeping operations, and more than one million people have served as peacekeepers. <laughs>